Hello guys and welcome back to another tech profile today with David who just got second place at the regional in Bern. So David, what did you play and how was your tournament experience? Yeah, it was one of the biggest tournaments in Switzerland, like one of the biggest regionals, 170 people. Um, it was good, it was good organized. I don't like the venue, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, the event was good. Like Some stupid stuff happened but over the tournament, but always there's always some stuff happening so i played purdy and uh, yeah relative standard list um i built this deck with uh, my roommates from cancun and then i just adjusted it to be tier um so yeah this is like pretty standard purdy with hand traps and yeah you'll see so right. standard stuff <laughs> three lilies uh three purdy and then the normal ratio of spells like Three pretty, three happy, three sleepy, which is the best one next to this one, but we cannot search this one anymore, so consistently. So, yeah. My friend and three field spells. Three field spells because you always want to be able to search it with my friend. Also, just upping the count of uh, purdy cards you can hit with uh, purdy. Uh, it's just very good. Makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, one trap. But you can, with Noir, you can always get it. Uh, three pots, just like very standard. Uh, I decided to play books. Still one of the best cards to out like a lot. Yeah, just very standard. Like then hand traps. Uh, I played the most impactful hand traps against m almost every deck. Three ash, um, three crows. Uh, at the YCS I was playing two crows and uh, one in the side deck, but now I cut at the books because Book of Moon wasn't that great anymore. So I just up the co uh, card count to. Uh, the, the one crow and cut the two books for 40 cards uh, very standard and then like i play three imperms because imperm is just good and i decided to play the shufflers for beating tier which is like a sort of discard engine which is like grave control is like good against almost every deck uh and it's um, the only impactful middle you can have against tier except necromonic king <laughs> but yeah these are like the best cards to mill if you're getting milled and they're also very good discard cards. Uh, yeah, it just helps you to like being able to play a bit easier. Uh, also, like it is allows you to do some stuff in the extra deck, which I will come to later. All right. Have you ever thought about playing shadow cards or shadow yes, light cards? I don't like it. Is there a uh, reason why? Yeah, it's just like you need impactful cards. Yeah, I mean discarding cards is good, but I rather have hand traps. Okay. I, I'd rather discard a hand trap uh, and then just like not be like the, instead of like playing against the board I cannot beat. Right? Okay. Yeah. I can see. just and felt way better. Did you like the shufflers in the end? Yes, very much. I, I really liked them. You played in uh, Dortmund as well, right? Yes. Okay. I think I never lost a tier at the deck um, in both tournaments. But yeah, in Dortmund I just got blowouted. But this time <laughs> people let their XYZ's anchors at home and I was able to. <laughs> To actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so, Alright. Uh, extra deck, like two Noirs, Queen Standard, one Baby Noir, uh, two Beauties, uh, yeah, one uh, Plump, and yeah, because of I play only, because I play the Shufflers and stuff and I have more ways to recycle cards, I play only one Happy. Um, I never needed a second one, because usually you don't have enough um, spells to search anyway in the, in, in the late game, so the only reason it would came up is just like to have more pressure with because it's the only XYZ which actually has a lot of attack. <laughs> so yeah, that's like the only reason I play like one. And I and I it never felt like I needed a second one. I, okay. What I did a lot was uh shuffled uh, two happies in the graveyard and the one happy back to the de to the deck so I could OTK again. So the two spells and yep. yeah, so I have one spell still in the graveyard and then I just do it again. So that, that, that happened multiple times, but yeah, yeah, just one is enough, I think. Yeah, you only lose against uh, people who still play Kashira <laughs> and realize that you only play one. I think I had one guy who didn't banish it, which was stupid. He, he banished my one Zeus, <laughs> but yeah, that was stupid. Uh, Nightingale, because he's better than Stacker Magician at this point. Yeah, just like because um, a bomb can just pop the Nightingale. Uh, the, the other one not, uh, can just pop the slacker in the battle phase and this can just detach and you cannot destroy it anymore. Also, the being able to actually use my friend in 
in your tur in a turn you need to make damage because this gives you 800 damage which is really important uh, down air then recycle starting to search the crow which is really good uh, what ha <laughs> funny thing you can always push the happy with this to 2600 so you sure. can always end OTK which happened like three or four times I think but more at the YCS than at this tournament uh, just one Zeus because there's no unicorn anymore or there shouldn't be uh, one Azalea one Anima and then two Slayer targets uh, because I just love Slayer I just think the card is very broken as long right. as you're not running into anti-spell you should win a lot of games by having Slayer yeah then uh, for the side deck I play three draws uh, one Lava Golem we were thinking about playing the second happy but I was just like uncomfortable to actually like always side out the slayer target in and out so I just played the one lava golem over it and just play one happy right. uh, one change of heart for m a lot of matchups then back row uh, at this point we just entered into anti-spell we knew if your opponent has anti-spell and he, <laughs> he, he um, <laughs> if our opponent has an anti-spell and we don't have and, and he can set up through uh, a board through our hand traps we will just lose like we were thinking about playing cyclone over like these three yeah. and then this to have an out to anti spell but we were thinking that 99 percent of the time if they set up through our hand traps they will have a negate anyway so the cyclone is just pointless so we just yeah. entered into it and like prayed run out and out of. yes this is the way <laughs> and then uh, for going first i just like judgment because it's the only thing which kind of can guarantee your trap going through except if you get anchored which happened to me twice I set up the whole board with two, with two, um, with two link, uh, two X Y Zs, um, and I just get double anchored at, at the Y C S twice. I have I have had judgment set both times, but yeah, that's the only way you can like, not do anything. Would you still play the judgments what? going forward? Would you still play the judgments? I like the card. I, I like the card a lot. Um, it's just like very solid. Also, into slower matchups, I sided in going second. Um, okay. Yeah, I just think it's solid. All right. It's like way better than uh, um, crossouts. I, I really don't like crossouts. I think crossout is only good in the mirror match, but it, it completely blows out the mirror. But because you can always per leap, the, you can just cross out the per leap. It's and if he doesn't have crossout for crossout, you just lose. Yeah. There's like nothing you can do because Noir is in death, and you can just for attack four times into ha into it with happy, and you just <laughs> win. <laughs> There's like no nothing you can do against it if you get crossout on per leap, which happened to me like also a lot of twice yes <laughs> but it's okay i decided to not play cross up because i think it's a very bad card yeah i can see that yeah well thank you very much for the tech profile um anything else any shout outs uh, shout out to the team shout out to their roommates uh, <laughs> in cancun we built uh, the deck with like samsung uh, kai samsung kresner um, kai scorza and uh, james markowitz yeah shout outs to our sponsors metamed and card market <laughs> nice <laughs> So, thank you very much, David, and uh, see you soon in Bologna, I guess. Yes. Sure. <laughs> All right. See you then. Take care. Bye bye. See you guys.